from slide nerd this is weaves what's up ladies and gentlemen how are you guys doing today so someone gives you three sides and says if this is this a triangle what are you going to do draw it on the paper and check if it's a triangle or not well nope we have a formula for that and we also need to find the area so in this video i'm going to show you a short program which is going to decide if three sides make a triangle or not so let's go ahead and see we have a triangle abc we ask the user a ask the user b ask him c this won't form a triangle tell him then again a b c this forms a triangle now you guys are like hey wait a second how the hell can you say that this makes a triangle and this won't make is it because you enter 10 5 7 in a different order that makes a triangle well not really definitely not of course there's a formula behind that let's go and check it out so here you have a plus b greater than c a plus c greater than b b plus c greater than a these are the three conditions that should be satisfied if you want three sides to be a triangle and all three must be true at the same time this is one important concept again as i told you i keep telling you this all the time i am not good at maths at all so i keep googling stuff whenever i encounter such crazy things so let's go ahead and see once you know it's a triangle you can definitely find its area right so you calculate the perimeter there's a sum of sides a plus b plus c have s which is half into perimeter find the area by this formula which is blah 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 inside the root so once you're done with this well your triangle problem is over so let's go ahead open that beans kick this baby out so folks i have net beans over here and empty net beans i'm going to ask the user to enter the side side one he'll enter side one just copy paste the same thing for all the three sides a b c need three variables a b and c gonna make them int so you can directly write reader dot read line take the string inside but the problem is a string cannot be equal to an int so use a function called parse int convert the string to an integer and the parse int is inside the integer class so a dot parse integer copy paste the stuff do the same thing for b and c so at this point the input stuff is done then i put the condition a plus b greater than c and at the same time it should be a plus c greater than b and b plus c greater than a this condition should be all three of them should be satisfied or true otherwise we can simply say it's not a triangle right so let let me copy paste the system dot 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 print ln say that it's a triangle over here go down do the same thing but this time i'll say it's not a triangle so now i have the triangle set up we can calculate its perimeter which will be the sum of sides that's a plus b plus c display that now again i need to calculate half into perimeter so i'll say perimeter into 0.5 store that inside the variable called temp that is your s which is half into perimeter i should have named it s so now area is nothing but s into s minus a s minus b into s minus c So at this point the area stuff is done use the mat.sqrt to take the square root of this entire thing simply print it out use the system dot 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 print ln also area equals to the variable i'll put a plus sign to join the string and the variable together So at this point we are completely done I'll enter sides 5 7 10 10 yep it's a triangle its perimeter is this area is this enter sides 7 1 2 doesn't satisfy so nope I hope you guys understood something out of this bit if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this I'll catch you guys later have a nice day